Well, the UK government has set a, an ambitious target, well, it seems, sounds ambitious to me anyway, of 2016 for all homes to be zero carbon. But have I got that right? Is it an ambitious target? I think it is, it is a very ambitious target and will be very difficult to meet. Um, that said, there are many people who would say, interpreting the, the, the science and our understanding of it so far, which is still very imperfect, that it's not ambitious enough. But it, it's certainly a demanding one to be met. I referred earlier to the Kyoto overall target of a 5% emission across all developed countries. That was allocated between different countries. And after an awful lot of horse trading, including in Brussels, the UK eventually was set a target of reducing emissions from 1999 to 2012 by 12%. So the UK took on a much bigger target. We are one, <coughs> one of the few countries who are actually in sight of, of meeting that target. But that was, uh, to large measure, uh, the changes with the coal industry and the switch from coal to, to gas that went on in the 1990s. So doing better and keeping out the record we have is going to be very difficult mm. indeed. So you said we're one of the few countries that actually is, stands a chance of achieving this. How do we compare with other countries? It's a very, very mixed picture because each country has a very different profile. The targets they've been set uh, and how they've implemented them has often come uh, resulted from an enormous amount of political horse trading, taking into account the fact that one country, France, for example, um, is very heavily dependent on nuclear. In, in many ways, in climate change terms, that's very helpful for it in, in meeting its targets. Um, Japan um, was one of the leaders in the world in responding to the 1973 um, oil crisis and, has, and starts from a base in 1990 of probably being the most energy efficient country in the world. So the targets, it, its achievement of those targets it dep you know, varies very much. In more specific areas related to homes, for example, um, there's been a lot of very good work in Germany who've put an awful lot of time, effort and money in, into roofing. Other countries, Denmark, for example, have put a lot of work into uh, offshore uh, renewable energy. So the picture is very difficult to make comparisons. Andrew, reducing carbon emissions in itself is not the end of the story, is it? I mean, for example, attaining a code level 4 by reducing carbon emissions by 44% doesn't necessarily guarantee you a four-star level rating. Exactly, yes. So you're also required to meet strict uh, water targets to get your house down to less than 105 litres per person per day. That's at least a 30% reduction on what most new build houses build. You have to think about sustainable materials and site waste construction management systems. So when you build, are you recycling some of those materials that you're not using? Uh, so the code is actually very comprehensive, 34 subsections, uh, a lot more to it than just CO2.